Hello my beautiful Pisces friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and we're getting started with a new love reading for you in the sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The overall energy from spirit messages to the sea. Take time to think about what you want, what you're manifesting, what you'd like to have in your life. By the way, there is a link to the two-year overview axis of the new Taurus Scorpio eclipses that will go on from now until 2023. There's a link at the end of the video. The tribes. Okay, Pisces, you're in this energy of feeling very strongly about your family, your friends, the people who are closest to you. You are taking time for yourself, probably getting healthier, doing breathing exercises, but very much in this in a more grounded state of energy. Neptune, the ruler of your sign, is in Pisces for a long day. It's been there for a while. It's in its dignity, so it may be a time of great uh, growth for you. Let's see. I have mixed up two decks. <laughs> well, we'll just see what happens here. So we'll clarify and we will also use the two decks mixed okay so what do we have here we go bottom of the deck energy for the overall reading is the nine of wands you have fire in your belly to make something work you have the desire to nurture and be nurtured be kind loving giving and supportive and you you may even be moving right now some of you <clears throat> are swiftly moving towards a goal or a destination, Pisces. So let's see what we have for your energy in terms of love, passionate new beginning, Ace of Wands, fiery energy. So what's happening? We have the Three of Cups. You're very happy. Right now you are seeking, you may have a friend that becomes a lover. Somebody may declare their interest in you that you didn't expect to declare in terms of what you are experiencing in love the sun card happiest card in the deck leo energy all about romance and children and creativity and living a good life and being happy i love that that is a trifecta of beautiful exuberant happy energy the energy right now that you you have people view you as someone who is very loving very kind tender giving somebody who is a nurturing person right now you are looking for answers you might be dating on the internet page of swords energy can be someone younger but it's also uh, Gemini energy searching for answers being willing to take a risk for enlightenment you would like to know a lot about the person that you're going to date Pisces there you are in your reading the moon card you may be feeling a little bit underwater right now. You might be very, very emotional with this lunar eclipse that we've had going on uh, on Friday. The two of coins. Right now you are possibly juggling two ideas, two different people. You might have communication with two different people. You could be just dating uh, multiple people on the internet. We have the Four of Wands energy. The advice from Spirit is make a choice, head towards commitment, that it's a time for you to have stability. It's the 1111 card, Twin Flame, uh, soulmate energy, but it's all about stability, buying a home, renting a home with somebody, but making, laying down a foundation in your love life that's very powerful. And the Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups. Pisces, you may meet someone in the near future or you may be dating someone that offers you a ring for engagement and or you offer them a ring of engagement. That is, uh, that's the set right there. That's the bridesmaids dancing at the wedding and this is the gift that ties up the commitment. And this of course is a marriage card. And when we look at this, we get the bridesmaids dancing at the wedding and we get, of course, the ring. The ring seals the deal, the tangible gift, the offer. Okay, Pisces looks very enchanting. Starry nights, happiness. You've got two of the best cards in the entire deck for your reading here in terms of stability, and that is that beautiful Four of Wands and Sun card.
All right. So why do we have nine of wands? You have fire in your belly. You are keeping your emotions well moderated. You may attract a Scorpio into your life. The Ten of Swords says that you have had, you've let somebody go or something go because you want to have this nurturing relationship with someone. The Movement of Swords, somebody said something to you and you swiftly decided they were not the one. You walked away from someone in the recent past. We have the Ace of Wands energy. All right, you are really paying attention. You're doing surveillance on anyone that you're dating, especially on the internet. You're not taking people at their word. The Seven of Cups, you suspect that a lot of the people that you may be connecting with are player energy, people who are not really making a commitment, people who are really not being honest in their profile. So, you know, you're very intuitive, but here we go. You have fire in your belly for someone who's coming in with a very romantic offer, a gesture. This could be you making that offer. Uh, it is your energy. Pisces, here you are in the reading again. And so what we see is that you are very tuned in, tapped in. You are passionately pursuing love and you are really working at you know, giving almost like background checking people right away. You know, I think you might have a truth finder account. We have the three of cups energy. What is that energy? The ten of cups. There we go again. Happily ever after. Pisces, that's your energy yet again. We have three Pisces cards here. You, uh, you know, it looks like somebody is making an offer that's going to bring you the happily ever after and the stability that you seek. I do feel sometimes that you get overwhelmed at dating too many people. That energy is not something, Pisces, I mean, you know, you certainly could handle um, dating and new situations, but you really want your person. The strength card, you have two Leo energies here. You have the fire in your belly. Someone's coming in with a lot of success, a lot of courage. They know what they want. They want you, Pisces. That is a very uh, cool energy because it brings great, great happiness. And it's all about the tribe. When we look at Leo energy and we look at the lion pride, which is a sign of Leo, we see somebody who is very oriented to family, to friends, and to their personal tribe. The Three of Coins is showing me that you are investing emotionally in the near future with somebody who's very grounded, somebody who makes plans and keeps them, somebody who's very reliable. It's Capricorn energy. You could be meeting someone at work, uh, but it's very grounded, stable energy. And it does serve the seventh house of marriage for a Cancerian energy. Though, ooh, somebody's coming in fast. What are they coming in to tell you? Well, that they want to choose you as their person, the three of wands. That's when you actually go from the two of wands making a decision. Somebody's going to decide to make you an offer again. You know, Tiki tar Torches, Starry Nights, somebody who wants a very beautiful, uh, spirited, adventurous relationship that's strongly grounded and has a lot of happiness and openness to it. The Three of Swords, you are checking people out on the internet to make sure they're not married. I like it, right? If you're going to date, you, you can be a private eye. Gemini is usually the private eye, but Pisces, you've taken the cake on that today. The High Priestess energy, some, of them, some people consider this Pisces energy, others Cancerian. You're very intuitive. You have your third eye chakra is open. You are very much tuned in, tapped into your intuition. You may have some sort of telepathic communication with someone that you deem as special. Why do we have the energy of the moon card? Ooh, magician. The magician energy means that you're manifesting what you want, but you don't quite see it clearly yet. It's still a mystery to you as to exactly who that person will be. It is Virgo and Gemini energy. So you may be attracted to someone who's very, communica very communicative and hardworking. You're willing to do the work. It's also Magus the Healer, healing the heart from past wounds to prepare for the future. 
The two of coins. All right. So you feel as though you have an interest in somebody who is possibly younger or somebody who could have children. Someone who may be at a point in their life where they're leaving a marriage or they may be in a divorce situation and they're branching out to date. I don't think you're going to take this person very seriously, though. This particular person does not look like the one. The energy that I'm getting is, is strong Leo energy, strong Pisces, strong Virgo, and strong Gemini energy. So I, I'm feeling as though anybody who's flaky, because this is a flaky offer of love, very enchanting, very sweet, very cute, but you're not going to be juggled. I just don't see you saying yes to that kind of energy. We have the Queen of Wands now. Now we have Aries energy. Somebody who's much more reliable, somebody who's elevated to the level of Queen, somebody who's very successful, very good looking, sexy Pisces, sexy. We see you releasing. For some of you, you may be getting a divorce and releasing somebody from the past, but for many of you, you're releasing one person that you could be dating so that you can accept an offer. And that's how I'm reading this. At this time, I see you ready to accept an offer that's quite generous, that fulfills your desire for deep happiness, friendship. We see you in a very strong creative mode. And here we have it, Ace of Coins, Ace of Cups. New love for you, Pisces. Look at that. The devil energy says that there's a part of you that doesn't trust it, that you are on the lookout for someone who may be Capricorn energy, but someone you're not going to, you know, I get this judgment card, which is Scorpio energy, releasing anybody who's toxic. The energy here, we have Scorpio twice, that you know that to get this beautiful ring and have a new opportunity, that you you have to make a choice not, not to to get into a toxic situation. You want to be winner, winner, chicken dinner. Again, that's that strong energy of the Leo. The Leo king, you know, king of the lions is what I mean. Could be feminine or masculine energy. You are going to insist on someone who's willing to devote time and energy and space to the relationship. Why is a devil card here with the judgment card? Ah, okay. So this is the healing that you've been doing. Somebody who is very toxic and very controlling left you out in the cold, Pisces. You're on the lookout for that energy. You will be very careful. And we see you doing a lot of sort of investigative work. Boots on the ground, looking for answers. Looking at things from a different perspective. That's your energy again, Pisces. Somebody is very likely to come in and give you an apology from the past. It looks as though you're considering taking them back, but at the end of the day, you say no. You're going to give up the burdens of the past. You are moving strongly forward. You are moving into your happiness and your fulfillment. And we have the most successful, most amazing card, the strongest, most powerful energy in the whole deck. And Ouroboros is eating, you know, that's a snake that where it begins, it ends. You are beginning a brand new cycle of success, leveling up in your relationship at this time. Let's see what messages and advice Spirit may have for you in terms of how to handle this energy with the devil, you know, releasing, dating multiple people yet moving into a period of time of commitment. Spirit, tell us something about this commitment for Pisces. Endless possibilities. Could we ask for some nice energy or what? We have the royal you. Pisces, somebody who absolutely sees how lovely and how giving and how much you deserve a gorgeous relationship. They, have, they find you to be very exquisite. There's something elegant and regal about you. And they see that energy within you. Pisces, you have an, an exciting new time in love. I wish you the best. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. 
and I hope to see you soon in another video. I also want to remind everyone to look at the link at the bo at the end of the movie, at the end of this reading, to the two-year prediction of the lunar eclipse cycle that started Friday. Thanks so much, Pisces. Take care. Bye-bye.